Hello and welcome to this installation video brought to you by Heat Blockers. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. The house we're working on here today is located just outside of Quitman, Texas. It's just under 3,000 square feet. We're going to be adding three turbines to the house today. We're also going to be installing radiant barrier in the attic over the living area. And we're going to be sealing up the ductwork and then also wrapping the plenum. You can see David's down here making preparations for the barrier. Uh, what he's doing is rolling the larger rolls into smaller rolls so we can carry them up into the attic more efficiently. Logan's up on the roof preparing the the turbines. As you can see he's already got all three holes cut out. He's going to be installing those here very shortly. And then we'll go up in the attic and take some video footage of the barrier and the, uh, the ductwork. We're up in the attic now. I'm just going to scan over the attic so you can get a good look of how large the attic is. It's very open. Uh, lots of lots of areas to, to walk around in. So this is going to be a very pleasant install for our installers. Uh, we do wish every attic was this easy to get to, but uh, unfortunately the majority of attics that uh, we take care of are not. So uh, God bless the man who built this house. Now as you can see We've got one air conditioning unit here. Uh, this is a, the plenum. This is going to be the return air on that side. That's a junction box for the return air. Now you can see the way the ducts are attached to this plenum. They are just zip tied. They're not sealed from the outside. Uh, this house was built in uh, 2003. The codes changed in 2005 to have the ductwork sealed from the outside with a mastic or a expandable foam. As you can also see, this, this plenum is not insulated on the outside. It is insulated on the inside, but unfortunately, uh, that's not enough in the hot attics here in Texas. One of the problems that, that happens whenever the plenum is not wrapped on the outside, you get condensation uh, that develops because you do have cold metal and a very hot attic. So you're going to get some moisture that's going to happen and uh, what what happens is the tape that the plenum is sealed with starts to come back come over here and show you exactly what I'm talking about as you can see this this tape has started to to come come away and that's one of the one of the problems in the attics if it if it's not uh, sealed up properly it'll start to leak and then you're going to be air conditioning your attic and your bills start to go up and uh, people wonder why but that's one of the one of the causes and we are going to take care of that we're going to seal the ductwork up we're going to use a, a product called a called DAP which is an expandable foam going to create an airtight seal we're going to install the radiant barrier over the living area now we're not going to be installing the garage today walk over here and show you why this garage has quite a bit of storage over top of it and with that much storage it's just not going to get enough ventilation uh, to be able to allow the product to work effectively so we're just going to be taking care of the of the living area now one of the things we are going to be doing today to make sure that make sure that the the garage stays cool on the garage door itself right there as far as the opening the attic entrance we are going to be cutting a vent out in that so that the hot air from the garage can come up into the attic and then it can go out all of these turbines we're putting in so that way in the hottest part of the summertime this attic should stay within 10 to 15 degrees of the outside temperature and when you have that kind of combination with insulation, the radiant barrier, and the ventilation, you're going to have low utility bills. So we'll come back whenever we've got the majority of the work done so you can see exactly how it was installed. Now, and it is finished. So you can see the barrier has been installed over the living area. Take a look at the before and after. Here's the after on the plenum. You saw this was bare metal, and now it is completely covered with an insulated radiant barrier all the ductwork have been sealed up you can take a look at our walkway we have a perfect walkway going across the attic 
out into the into the attic we got Logan he's uh, shining the light for us so everything has been completely covered make our way down here you can see the plenum on this side has been sealed as well all the ductwork if you notice the the white foam and with the ductwork the way they were situated the DAP was was going to be the most effective in this particular application we do custom fit everything for the house individually you see the plenum on that so you're going to notice a significant difference in the temperature out of the out of the ducts just because out of the registers uh, because of the plenum being wrapped and they're not going to have any more condensation dripping down from the plenum because there's no more bare metal exposed into the attic so this is the the job afterwards all right we're finally finished here at the house outside of equipment you've seen the inside of the house you see the two turbines that were put in beside the first two and you can see the final turbine installed over here now if you notice there is a size difference the original turbines that were in the house are 12 inch the ones we installed are 14 inch they move 30 percent more air so they are the the ones that uh, ones that we like to put in but that's it that is a total job thanks for watching